All right, so this is going to be a story on one of the more awkward first dates, cringy first dates you'll ever hear of. And, you know, I thought about just not doing a video on this, but I mean, why not? Who really cares? You know, what does it matter? By the way, guys, some people were asking about my Thanksgiving. Honestly, it went even worse than expected. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know your Thanksgiving went bad when the Saturday after, because Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday. My mom comes up to me and she's like, are we going to talk about you, you know, not talking to the family and stuff and just being awkward and... It's just like, like I know in situations like that, I'm just like, okay, I'm sorry. Because if you fight it, it's just going to make the conversation 10 times worse. So I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll do a better job. Guys, I don't know. I just got to, I, I got to get out of here. I really do. And, and, and I'm trying to, I really am. I mean, I'm fucking uploading four or five videos a day, trying to make money, just slave working. And, and that's really what we're all doing. We try and do that to get into better positions in life. But either way, this is the story of my terrible first date. Really, I'd say my only date. I was going to like lie and be like, yeah, bro, I've been on all these dates. I It's just cope. You know, it's just useless cope. It doesn't do anyone good except make myself look better. But I know the truth. Like, what's the point in lying? So this is really like my only date I've been on. I was probably at the time, this ha this was in the winter of 2019 because it was before the pandemic. And it was honestly like right around this time. It was in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, that time period, early December, I would say maybe like, I don't know the exact date, but like early to mid December. And this was like a Tinder thing. This was not a situation where you talk to this girl on Tinder, you start sexting, you, you're having this really nice conversation. This was just a thing where I talked to this girl. She looked like she was a, a, a kind of a solid six. You know, for me, it's like, all right, whatever. I was talking to a few different girls at the time, but you know, this one, it, it, it was going well. It was a very short conversation. I asked her out and, and she accepted. And again, again, it wasn't like there was this great, you know, chemistry. There were heated texts. There was like a few, you know, photos, whatever. It wasn't anything crazy or anything like that. I'm guessing, I, I was trying to find photos of what I used to look like. I think this is probably what I looked like. I mean, in this photo, I kind of look like one of those Russian schoolboys. And the funny thing about this photo, I vividly remember, this was taken at Cedar Point. If you guys don't know, that's a big time amusement park in Sandusky, Ohio. And I remember going to Cedar Point with my mom. This was back in 2019. And just looking at this photograph, guys, I want you to guess how old do you think I was? Because I'm sure a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, you know, you were maybe a freshman in high school, maybe a sophomore. Guys, this is me out of high school. This is how bad it is for us. Like, we just do not, I don't know if it's because we just look at screens the whole fucking day. We're little leeches just investing into crypto. And it, I mean, it's, it's just sad, man. Like, the idea that I'm actually, why do you think I always have facial hair? The last time I shaved with an actual razor, I mean, probably 2019, 2020. I'm thinking about doing that again for like the first time because what I always do, I'll always trim my, my beard down to like one and a half, which is pretty short, but there's noticeable facial hair there. It's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's shaven or anything like that. I was thinking about shaving it, but I do have a pretty normie haircut there with the sides shorter. Uh, I really don't get that haircut anymore. I don't know why. It's just, you know, it, it's what it's just not the style I use, but my hair's a fucking mess anyways. But either way, that's like kind of what I looked like. So I asked the girl out. It was not a long conversation. She accepts. I don't remember exactly what the date was or, or was it a weekend? It might have been a Friday night or something, but I ended up picking her up. It was like 15 minutes away. It's just really awkward. I mean, she did not live in a good place. So I picked her up and I'm like, you know, t do you get out of the car? Or do you go up to, to get her? And I think I ended up going up to get her and it was just so awkward. Like I gave her this hug and, and you guys know just how bad it is. But so when she gets into the car. I end up, you know, going on the highway for some reason. I don't even know why I did this. And I finally get back into my hometown, which is probably like driving for 20, 25 minutes. I don't like going on the highway anyways, but I get back into my hometown after I think I went the wrong way or something. And we end up going to eat at this one place right in the center of, 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 of my town. 
Well, let me actually, let me, let me go back for a second. Let, let me go back to the first initial thoughts on this girl. So again, I said she was probably about a 6, maybe a 6.5. You know, it's a solid, it, it, you got to take what you can get. Let's be honest, guys. You got to take what you can get. Guys, when I saw her, and this is a message for anyone on these dating apps, you really have to be careful. Because when I saw her, I was like, oh, that's not exactly what I was asking for. And it's not that she was fat. It's not that she was editing her photos like that. I'm not even sure if she was editing her photos. But you'll know when you go on a date like this and you see a girl and it's like, I guess you're the same person where you're not exactly, this is a little tough, I don't know about this, it's tough. It's just, it wasn't, it was like she went from a 6, maybe a 6.2 to about a 4.9 and you're sitting there like, ay ay ay, what do we do? But no, I, I ended up still going on the date, whatever, obviously you're in that situation. But it was just like there was something different. I, I don't know if she was really editing her photos. Again, it wasn't like she was making herself skinny because I know that happens a lot with girls. But there was something where it was like, this is not really what I was expecting. It's like when you get a brand new TV and the TV is there, it's there, it looks very similar, but the quality, it's not 4K, it's 1080. It's not 4K and that's what I was dealing with and it's just like, ooh, you know, but you know, you still go on the date. I don't know why I had cash at the time, but I did have cash. Now I really never have cash. I'm, I'm sure it's pretty common. A lot of us just use credit and, and debit cards, but, and by the way, this is to young people. Please build your credit. Good Lord. There's just so many misconceptions about not having credit cards. Guys, if you're 17 or 18, get a credit card, make very small purchases per month, build it, build it, build it, build it. Obviously, don't be stupid with it, but you make small purchases. By the time you're 20, 21, you'll have amazing credit. It's so easy. Just buy buy a fucking stick of bubble gum or something, but that's just a way to build your credit. We were taught when we were younger, but credit cards are really bad. And yes, if you're not safe with your money, they are bad. But this is not me ranting about credit cards, folks. Let's get back to the actual story. So we're at the restaurant. I mean, listen, it costs like 35, 40 bucks for both of us. I'm paying because I'm an alpha male. I'm a Chad. I'm kidding, guys. But no, I did pay. And when it comes to like paying on your first date, I think if the girl looks wholesome, certainly you should pay. If you want to, you know, explore a second date. Well, honestly, I probably didn't want to explore a second date, but I wasn't going to make a girl pay. The girl didn't seem like, I mean, she was invested into our conversation and stuff. And the conversation was awkward. It was a first date. I really wasn't saying much. Uh, I was pretty nervous. And then I remember giving our waitress, I think it was like a $20 bill, just to kind of like flex. It's just so cringe, man. What a waste of money that was, <laughs> right? Be because this uh, this little relationship did not last long. I don't even think she saw me when I gave the dude a $20 little tip. But yeah, we just ate, and I, I just got a burger and fries, you know, the old NPC meal. Remember, I always used to get chicken fingers and stuff, yeah. I, I upgraded to burgers and fries, but man, I have not, I haven't even e eaten out in like a year or something, man. Th that's interesting, I just realized that, but yeah, after that, so I had the genius idea, because we really had nothing planned, it was just to go eat, and I said, listen, there's a nice lighting, like there's a bunch of Christmas lights, you know, down in the center of my town, we should go walk around and, and it's, it's so romantic. It's so nice. And, and she liked that idea. Or I, I said something like that. And it was only like a minute away from where the restaurant was. So I end up driving there. I find a place to park and this is where it gets really bad. So we get out and there's all these Christmas lights around, you know, there's all these couples, all these families walking around, looking at the lights. This is like a week, maybe two weeks before Christmas. And we start walking around, it's probably like 25 degrees out, and I think it, certainly it was my fault. I'll just tell you what happened. So basically, I was just walking in front of her. I didn't hold her hand, nothing. It was just like I was literally fucking in front of her, walking around these Christmas lights for like 10 minutes, didn't say a word. It's just as cringe as you can get. And I think she started to think I was a weirdo or something. And it's like, just because I've never done this. I mean, it's just like, obviously it's really bad. But I was like in front of her walking, looking at all these lights. I don't know if she wanted me to initiate something. I'm guessing she probably did. But who knows, man. So then we end up just getting back into the car after like 10 or 15 minutes. And I think I actually drove by my house. She was like, oh, you want to go back to your house? And I was like, you know, I didn't even tell my mom about this date because I knew she would make a big deal about it. And I was like, before the date, I was like 95% sure it was going to be a flop. So I just told my mom I was going over to my friend's house. 
And normally I never went over my friend's house or like very rarely I did, but I still went over there enough to where she was like, oh, whatever, go ahead and, you know, have fun, whatever, you know, spend two or three hours. It's no big deal. And just because I didn't tell her because she would make a big deal about it. And then it's a flop. And it's like, I don't want to talk to other people about this, about my terrible date. And that's exactly what happened. So I was actually glad that I never told you know, my mom about it. So I wouldn't have to talk about it when I got home, but we ended up like driving by my house and I was like, Ooh, there's my house. But like my mom was home or something. So I didn't want to go in. And I don't know, we were just talking about like possibly going to see a movie or something at like at my house on the couch. I don't even know guys. I really wasn't interested in the whole thing. So I end up driving her back home. It was about 20 minutes back to her house, maybe 15. And then in leaving, I end up getting lost you guys know the texting dynamics with girls. You have to like fucking text them after you go, you know, take them out because they want to hear that. And then I just texted with her a little bit. And then honestly, you know, it's sad, but there's no sense in me lying. It's just cope. I, I, I honestly think she fucking ghosted me. Well, I shouldn't say she ghosted me, but she took like a day to respond. I vividly remember her like taking a day and then being like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. She worked at some dead end grocery store job, which honestly... I'm not going to hate on that at all because that's a lot better than what a lot of these girls do. That's actually a wholesome job. Yeah, that is. If you're a cute girl working at a job like that, um, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say she was, you know, necessarily cute, but I'm just saying in general that I should not hate on that. That's a lot better if you're a young girl than doing some of the things that they're doing with the OnlyFans and all that bullshit. Obviously, we're not interested in any of that. But either way, that's just kind of my awkward first date. That's the story. And then when it came to like my experience with Tinder, I did have a situation where there was one very, I wouldn't say very attractive. I would say a pretty attractive girl. We were talking for a little bit. It went pretty, it was going pretty well. And I had this other girl. Now the pretty attractive girl, you could say maybe about a 6, 7.2, 7.5. I don't know guys. We all have our own scales, whatever. Let's just say she's a 7.5 for argument's sakes. The other girl is about a 6.2. The 6.2 is showing a little bit more interest. We're, we're exchanging photos, yet you know, the whole shebang. The 7.5 though, there's interest there. We've been talking for a little bit longer and I make the rookie mistake and I tell the 6.2 in a cringy bullshit paragraph, I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work out. It's just, we gotta go our separate ways, whatever. I mean, listen, you can't call me an asshole. I didn't ghost her. But then she's like, oh, okay. I, I think I ended up seeing her on Tinder again. And I tried to match. I mean, it's just so cringe. I think I tried to match with her and I did match with her. And she was like, what the fuck? Fuck you or something. She got angry. But um, the, the one girl that, that was like a 7.5, I was like, this is great. I'm going to cut the other girl off. Guys, of course, at that point, I didn't know how Tinder actually worked where girls are talking if they're at least semi-attractive they're talking to like 50 different dudes so I'm putting my all of my eggs in this one basket and what ends up happening we've got an inception moment we've got an interstellar moment I get ghosted so I ghost a girl because I think I'm gonna get with a more attractive girl and then that girl ends up ghosting me it's and by the way that was even more cringe because I sent her this photo and she she wasn't responding and then like a day and a half later, she responds and says, sorry, I just saw this. And you know it's complete bullshit. People just don't, listen, you, you understand what I'm saying, guys. You, you've been there where a girl's like, oh my goodness, I just saw this, I'm sorry. And it's like, yeah, I got I got the hint, honey. All right, that, 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 you know, it, it's just not gonna happen, I get it. But either way, guys, that, those are just some cringy stories. And really the cringy first date, I, I didn't know how to make conversation. We end up going to the little lights, the romantic Christmas stuff. And I'm literally sitting there in the freezing cold, walking through all the little aisles, looking at all the Christmas lights. Ho, 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 Santa Claus, inflatable snowman waving to me. And this girl's right behind me, not talking. Neither of us are talking, having any type of conversation, freezing my ass off walking for 15 minutes around and then getting in my car and fucking off. That is a, an amazing date. That's, that's really my experience there. It, it's just so over. It really is. It's just so, so pathetic. And, and now pretty much all I do, I just film YouTube videos and I invest in cryptocurrency and it's miserable, but listen, it's a lot better, but you know what? Honestly, if, if my YouTube channel gets deleted or something happens to where 
I end up getting demonetized. I really need to learn to appreciate this job because I've heard guys and and, and you talk to some of these people and some of their jobs with factory work, being factory workers and Amazon and slave working. I mean, really, you can't call my job slave working even if I do post a lot because I'm in my freaking house filming whenever I want and it's just so much easier. So really... When it comes to my job, I mean, listen, guys, guys, if you want to do YouTube, you have to understand something. I did YouTube for a year without making a single cent. That's the fucked up thing with YouTube. Oh, it's bad. But 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 if you do end up making it, it's like an investment. You can actually go somewhere. Now you'll get the chads and the people that are good at life where they do both. They're, they're like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. And, and of course, these people probably get more views than me. Yet I'm the one with the full time YouTube job. But this is what the chads do. They do. I'm going to, you know, do a little, I'm going to have work. I'm going to do one YouTube video a week. It ends up getting like fucking 40 K views. And then they are able to grow their channel. I know one guy that uploaded one video with zero subscribers. And within a day, the one video had a hundred K views. And it's like, dude, you do not know the struggle, brother. You're not a fucking YouTuber. I'm kidding. I, I now I'm just bitching. I'm just bitching because I'm bad, you know? And it's just like, no, the, these other people produce better content than me. It is what it is. But uh, just getting back to, yeah, so that's probably what I looked like again. I mean, I look like a nice little Russian schoolboy there, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, there you have it. There's my story, the depressed ginger's first date. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.